Yeah, you just uh, get a good night's sleep. So, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we had a late game there in D.C. And, and traveling yesterday and, you know, just get a chance to recover a little bit. Down left, Brittany. Steven, starting pitchers are such creatures of habit. Can you talk a little bit about how your routine has evolved and how much, if at all, pitching and relief in that wild card game kind of disrupted or, or changed it? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's something I haven't done in a really long time. And, you know, it is what it is. So just try and uh, focus on what you can control and, uh, you know, disregard everything that you can't. You know, that's kind of, uh, you know, the nature of, of the business, sometimes you know you're going to have to deal with uh, some things that you wouldn't expect, and um, you know, bottom line is you still have to go out there and compete. Mark in the middle here. Uh, Davey referred to your outing there tonight as kind of the equivalent of a of a bullpen session. When you consider all the work you did and throwing even before you got in the game and, and the game itself, the high stress of that, how comparable is that to a bullpen session? Um, yeah, I mean it was definitely the most adrenaline I've ever had for a bullpen. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it felt good. So. Down here on the left. Uh, Steven, it's uh, been 10 years since you were at San Diego State and all the, the draft mania surrounding you at that time. Um, 10 years out, I mean, how would you say you've grown as a pitcher and, and become, you know, kind of who you are and where would you say you are now in your career? Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of what you would expect to, you know, playing, you know, 9, 10 years at the highest level. Um, you know, you, you have ups and downs, and I think you learn to manage them a little bit better. Um, just realize that, you know, at the end of the day when it's all done, um, how do you want to look back on it? And, you know, really it's, it's going out there and doing everything you can to be the best version of yourself. Down here? Just when you thought about taking the ball for tomorrow, was there any concern on your part uh, just about your arm, or is it, was it an easy call for you that just the playoffs and you kind of want to be on the mound there? Yeah, I mean, I'm... You know, I'm just one of 25 guys, and, um, you know, we've had a, an amazing run all the way to this point, and, you know, excited to, you know, get the opportunity to keep it going. Um, but really, I mean, it's arms felt, felt great all year, and, uh, you know, my routine's kind of improved um, this year over previous seasons. Can you Far make left. I'm sorry, I follow. Just, just maybe what changes in your routine are you kind of most uh, proud of or just things that you um, I don't know, feel most happy about? I guess. Um, I think it's, you know, learning how to manage um, throwing in between. Um, when you don't feel right, kind of knowing what you got to do to make yourself feel better. Um, I mean, it's, it's just understanding, you know, the length of the season, understanding your body better. Um, and really just making those adjustments when you need to. Far left. Steven, the usage of your curveball went up this year. What, what, what was the reason behind sort of incorporating that pitch more into your arsenal? And I guess what, what's that, what has that pitch meant, the success you've had this year? Um, I mean, it's a pitch I'm really confident in throwing and throwing any time. Um, I guess you would say you just sometimes you got to look at the data and maybe lean on it a little bit more than than you have in the past. And I think there comes a point in everybody's career where, you know, you, you don't have the fastball that you can just blow by guys all the time. So you have to learn how to pitch a little bit more. In the back. Steven, when you look back to the 2017 playoffs against the Cubs when you made those couple starts, what did you learn about yourself during that series? Um, not really sure. Um, you know, I mean, it, it was an amazing experience. and. Um, highlight of my career, um, still the same person, and I try and be the same person from you know first time I stepped on a baseball field. Down here in the front, uh, Stephen. Going back to kind of the long view, when you were drafted, kind of impossible expectations were placed upon you. Um, how would you say you you've dealt with those expectations over your career and, and managed them, if you will? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you realize that the expectations are always going to be there. And I think it's pretty obvious that the expectations that people had for me from early on were a little insane. And um, I think you just become more comfortable with yourself. Um, 
more comfortable with the results and you know you set yourself to you know your own standards and those are always going to be more important than what what others think you should be doing Arash in the back Stephen for you what does comfortable mean what does what does that incorporate what does comfortable mean yeah in terms of where your expectations are for yourself in terms of what what you want to accomplish well I know that I know how much hard work I put in every off season um, I know that you know the type of teammate that I want to be um, I know the type of dad that I want to be uh, husband that I want to be um, all those things don't really uh, change depending on the numbers that you put up or the numbers that are on the back of your baseball card. Um, those are things that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life, and um, that's fundamentally what's most important. And you know, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm going to go out there and give it everything I have, and um, you know, we'll see what happens.